All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 29. And in this lesson, we're going to be solving take apart with at end unknown stories. And basically, this is a kind of subtraction. But instead of us starting with a given number and removing things like a classic style of subtraction, this is uh, formulated where we have a given number, and then we merely separate that set into two parts. And that's kind of a different way of thinking about subtraction. Let's go on and see what we're talking about. So when modeling this kind of problem, use contexts. Um, here's a bunch of contexts, cupcakes, sneakers, coats, and balls. But really, you know, the idea is this is a perfect time for first grade teachers to really make math meaningful by choosing topics that are meaningful to their students. I'm going to just continue using minions for lack of a better idea. But you could do soccer, you could do dance, you could do ducks, whatever is on the hearts of your students, please um, connect mathematics to your students. So let's say we have eight minions, and the idea is we're told, oh, there are eight minions, and um, six of them play the trombone. Uh, the rest of them play clarinet. Uh, so how many kids play the clarinet? <laughs> That's about the lamest story ever, but you get the idea. So the idea is... We have eight minions, six of them play the trombone, and the rest play the clarinet. How many minions play the clarinet? So if we were to separate these minions, and we're going to say six of them play the trombone, so these guys play the trombone, and the remainder, the remaining minions, play the clarinet, and we can see that, oh, okay, well, two minions play the clarinet. And the idea is we could model that with a number bond by saying we have eight minions total, six of them play the trombone, and the remaining minions play the clarinet. And so the model would look like this. If we were going to use a number bond, the number sentence would look like this. So let's do some practice. Uh, Tom has a box of seven crayons, and five of them are red. How many crayons are not red? All right, so let's begin by modeling the seven. So I'm going to do that using the 10 frame style. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it says five crayons are red. So let's highlight that. So five crayons are red, and the rest are not red. So the answer, of course, we can see is two, because five of them are red, the remainder are not red, so it's two. Uh, the number bond would look like this. And then the number sentence... Okay, I'm going to pay attention to where the equal sign is. I can see the differences over here. The ex subtraction expression is on this side. And so we can see that the number sentence would be 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now, teachers, don't get too freaked out if your students want to do 7 minus 2 is 5. Um, but we do want to try and, you know, technically that is a true statement, right? But we do want to try and, and model uh, what the problem says, not just write any true statement, but really try and model what is um, in the problem. And of course the answer, how many crayons are not red? The answer is two crayons are not red. So now we have Mary, and she picks eight flowers. So let's model that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see I'm following that 10-frame format. Two of them are daisies. So we want to show that two of them are daisies. There's two. And it says the rest are tulips. So the rest are tulips. So how many tulips does she pick? And we can see if these two are the daisies, these must be the tulips. And the answer is six. All right. So let's put that in a number bond, 
So we have eight flowers as our whole. Two of them are daisies. And the rest are tulips. So the answer is six. Um, the number sentence would be eight minus two is equal to six. And so how many tulips does she pick? And again, that's the blue part right here. And the answer is she picks six tulips. Pretty straightforward lesson. Uh, it's just showing another example of what subtraction might look like. This was lesson um, 29, first grade, module 1.